Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can use the sum function in Microsoft Excel. The sum function helps you add lots of values together and you put the heavy list lifting on Excel to do that for you. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that whenever I talk about Microsoft software. So the sum function, why would you want to use this? Well, I remember early on when I started my career, this is something that just blew my mind, but I had a coworker call me into his office and I said, all right, let me go in there and see what's going on. And he said, oh, Kevin, you know, I'm working on this spreadsheet here and it always just takes me a long time to add up these different values. I kind of looked at him and I, I was like, okay, you know, why, why does it take so long? You're using a spreadsheet, it makes it pretty simple for you. And then that's when I noticed that he had a calculator sitting alongside his keyboard and he would go through the spreadsheet cell by cell and when he saw the value, he'd type it into his calculator. Then he'd add the next value, hit the plus button, take the next value, add it up. And then he would get the sum on his calculator and then he'd paste it. Once he got the sum, he would paste it back into the spreadsheet. Now that is exactly what a spreadsheet is supposed to do for you. And so today I wanna to basically pass on how you do this in Excel. So enough talk, why don't we jump into Microsoft Excel and I'll show you exactly how to sum up values. Here I am on my PC, I'm in Microsoft Excel. This is the latest version that comes with Office 365, but even if you have an older version of Excel, you should also be able to do this. I have three different columns. We're gonna jump through one by one and how you uh, basically add sum and then sum if. And I'll get into what those mean. So in the first column, I have these, I have basically the numbers one through 10, and we wanna add them up. Well, how do you do that? Well, that's in Excel, you could enter what's called a function. I'm gonna enter the equal sign. You always start a function with the equal sign. So first we're gonna do equals. And what I wanna do is let's say I just wanna add the first cell with the second cell. Well, what I do is I click on the first cell, uh, which is A3, and then I'll insert the plus sign and I'll do cell a4 and then I could hit enter and that'll add the two values. So one plus two is three, at least hopefully most of you agree with that. And that gives me three. And what I could do is let's say I wanted to add this whole list. I could go through and I could say, well, this cell plus this cell plus this cell plus this cell. And it works okay when you only have 10 rows of data. However, imagine you had 10,000 rows of data. This would take a little bit longer. So there I could press enter. Uh, and so adding is very good when you only have a few values that you wanna add, but as soon as you have a lot of values, it doesn't scale all that well. And that's where the sum function comes in. So what is the sum function? Well, why don't we first click on the function icon up here where I can insert a function and I'm gonna search for sum. Uh, you'll also see that it's a recent function that I use. So I'll just go ahead and click on that. And what you can see here is it says, well, you know, tell us number one that you wanna sum. Well, I want that one. And then for number two, I wanna sum that cell. Number three, I wanna, I wanna sum this cell. And I could go through all my numbers and just keep doing that all the way down my list and then click okay. The problem though is that too, if I click through using this uh, func the insert function tool, that also takes a little bit of time. Now what you can see is when it, when it created that function, it does the cell followed by a comma, followed by the next cell. So what I could do as well is let's type in the formula. So I'll do equals and then sum, open parentheses, and then I could click on this cell, followed by a comma, and then I could go through and click on, click on all the numbers that I wanna sum. This is probably just as much effort as entering a plus sign though, so how do I make it even easier? What if I just wanna sum this whole list? Well, what you could do is I'll type in the sum function, so equals sum, open parentheses, and what I can do is instead of entering one by one, what I could do is I'll click here and I'll just drag it all the way down. So you see that I put a colon in between. What this is saying is that I wanna sum everything between uh, cell D3 all the way down to cell D12. And then I'll close the parentheses and hit enter. And what that did now is that summed up every single value in here. So pretty cool. Now what I can also do is I'll type in equals sum again. And what I'm gonna do is let's say I want the first three values and I wanna sum the last three values. So I selected this range, so D3 through D5. And now what I can do is I'll enter a comma. 
and now I could highlight the next three down here and then I'll close the parentheses. And so what that did now is it sums these three values and then it also sums these three values. And what's really neat is with the sum function, I can highlight a few values here, put in a comma, highlight some here, put in a comma, highlight some here, highlight some here and highlight some here and then close the parentheses. And you could add a lot of things very easily by using the sum function. Um, so pretty, pretty cool stuff in terms of addition. Now, what I also want to show, though, is what if you only want to sum up certain values? Like, let's say that I only want to sum my favorite numbers between 1 and 10, and that happens to be 4 and 8. Actually, I just made that up. Um, but let's say those are my favorite numbers, 4 and 8, and I want to just sum those values. Well, what I could do is, you know, once again, I could type in equals sum, and I could say, well, 4 is my favorite value, and then comma, 8 is my favorite value. But once again, this doesn't scale very well. Imagine that you had thousands and thousands of rows of data. Some are favorites and some aren't favorites. Well, what comes in, what you can use here is sum if. So what I'm gonna do is why don't we go to the insert function up here and I'm gonna type in sum if. And then I'm gonna click on go and that brings up this sum if function. Let's go ahead and click on okay. Now I'm confronted with a few different options here. One of them is the range. Well, what does range mean? Well, here it says the range is the range of cells you want evaluated. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna evaluate if this is my favorite. So for the range, why don't we select this favorite column? This is my range that I'm evaluating against. The next uh, option here says the criteria, and this is the condition or criteria in the form of a number expression um, or a text that defines which cells will be added. Basically what that means is, what am I looking for in these cells? And what I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna sum up everything that's a favorite. So I'm gonna type in favorite, and then it says sum range. These are the values that I add. Um, so it's my addition range or my sum range. So what it's saying is if it finds favorite here, it'll sum that value. If it finds a favorite here, it'll sum this value. Um, and here I already get a preview that it equals 12. So yes, I set this uh, function up properly. And now I'll go ahead and click on okay. And here it says that my, the sum of all my favorite numbers is 12. Uh, so it worked very nicely where it looked at that criteria and my criteria range and then it added up those values. But anyway, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show a few quick ways that you can add items in Excel using both just the simple, basic, tried and true plus sign all the way down to sum and summing different sections of the sheet. So you could sum a range here, another range elsewhere all the way down to how to sum things given certain criteria with some if. Uh, hopefully you're an addition expert now. If you feel like you're pretty good at addition using Excel, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, other tutorial videos, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are other videos to see, perhaps you want me to do a video on subtraction, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And hey, that's all I have for you today. Hope to see you next time. Bye.